This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Live picture from Hamburg, Germany, site of the G20 summit where some protests have been going on, uh, some anti-capitalist protests. Also, of course, today, President Trump meets with Vladimir Putin, so much of the world's eyes are on Hamburg, Germany. Absolutely. President Trump uh, sets to speak with Putin around 9.45 our time, so we will continue to um, get updates from Germany, although we are hearing we're probably not going to learn a lot about what's discussed. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm thinking they're going to keep that to themselves. <laughs> That's right. And so. I don't think you could blame them. Good morning. I'm Stephanie Roberts in for Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Ray Collins. John Scalzi has details of a, a slightly cooler forecast. Get this, down to 91 degrees. Oh, yeah. We'll take it at this point. Right. Anything you can get, right? And that'll be because we get a little bit more rainfall. That'll occur later on in the week. I think today it'll be another warm one. A uh, little bit of showery activity yesterday. It was kind of isolated. Not everybody got it, but it certainly was uh, kind of impressive. A lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, and some wind damage down in Charlotte Harbor because of uh, some rotating thunderstorms down there. Now, we're not seeing much going on on radar right now across the region. Should be a very quiet morning commute in terms of any kind of weather. A lot of sunshine to greet you as the dawn breaks on the sun coast. And we see plenty of sunshine to help boost our temperatures once again into the 90s. I think even by the 2 o'clock hour, we'll hit 91 degrees. 40 percent chance of showers today, about 10 percent more than we had yesterday. So coverage just a little bit greater. Not much difference in the nature of the storms, except that perhaps they might be a little slower moving meaning if you're under one of them, you could get a lot of rainfall. We'll have the complete weekend forecast, which includes increasing rain chances, coming up in just a few. Back to you. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Some early buildup right now on the Green Bridge. That's the uh, western of the two bridges from Palmetto into downtown Bradenton. DeSoto Bridge wide open, so take that one if you got the option. Into uh, Sarasota County, Fruitville, showing some early buildup. Folks heading into uh, the downtown area. See some slowdowns around Beneva and uh, Tuttle. And South County uh, mostly clear at 6.02 on your Friday morning. Topping our news this half hour, it's a big day in Germany for President Trump. Besides the G20 summit, he'll also meet with his Russian counterpart. This comes after more protests overnight in Hamburg. ABC's Emily Rao has a preview of the day. <laughs> This morning, protesters already assembling after a full day of demonstrations to begin the G20 summit. A distinctly different welcome for President Trump in Hamburg compared to the cheering crowds in Warsaw. In his speech to the people of Poland, the president calling out Russia for its activity in Syria and Ukraine. We urge Russia to cease its destabilizing activities in Ukraine and elsewhere, and its support for hostile regimes, including Syria and Iran. Instability in the region expected to be on the agenda today for the high-stakes sit-down between President Trump and Vladimir Putin. President Putin will walk in that door with a very specific agenda in mind, and President Trump needs to be prepared to handle that. Set to last about 35 minutes, an administration official telling ABC News the meeting will only include a select few. The two presidents and their translators, the Russian foreign minister and secretary of state Rex Tillerson. So my big question is, do we see President Trump who wants to be loved, uh, even by Vladimir Putin, or do you see the President Trump who wants to be seen as a tough negotiator? A tough negotiator, but still not ready to lay the blame squarely on Russia for the 2016 election hack. Well, I think it was Russia, and I think it could have been other people in other countries. President Trump already tweeting about today's big meeting, saying he looks forward to them, including the meeting with Vladimir Putin. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. And this meeting is coming as current and former U.S. intelligence officials say Russia has stepped up spying efforts since the election. They say since November, U.S. intelligence and law enforcement agencies have detected an increase in suspected Russian intelligence officers entering this country. You might recall back in December, the U.S. expelled 35 Russian diplomats suspected of spying in retaliation for election meddling. But now they say the Russians have more than 150 suspected operatives in this country. 
Florida is among a number of states that will hand over some voter information being sought by President Donald Trump's commission investigating alleged voter fraud from the 2016 election. The state will only release information that is already public record. However, it will not turn over driver's license information, social security numbers, or the names of voters whose information is protected. That would include judges and police officers. An update now on the condition of Congressman Steve Scalise, who has now undergone another surgery for wounds sustained in last month's congressional baseball practice shooting. The Republican House Majority Whip was originally moved out of intensive care on June 22nd after undergoing multiple surgeries. Well, he has now been readmitted to the ICU due to concerns of an infection. The hospital says he tolerated the latest procedure well, but he still remains in serious condition. 606 right now, United Airlines continues to face backlash this morning, this time apologizing to a mother from Hawaii for mistakenly giving away her toddler's seat, which she purchased for nearly a thousand dollars. ABC's Elizabeth Herr has more on why the child was forced to sit on his mother's lap. The toddler seen in these pictures lying on his mother's lap, at times even standing between her legs, is Shirley Yamauchi's 27-month-old son, Taizo, forced to finish the second leg of their long trip from Hawaii to Boston without a seat, even though Yamauchi paid nearly $1,000 for each ticket. It was totally unfair and it was completely unsafe. Yamauchi says she got on her United flight without a problem after both tickets were scanned. Then all of a sudden, a passenger who was on a standby list arrived with a ticket for her son's seat. The flight attendant, when I let her know that these were my seats and she came back and told me that the flight's full and she shrugged and that was the end of it. She says she didn't want to cause a scene like this one in April when United made the news dragging a doctor off his flight to give his seat to another passenger. I didn't want him hurt especially. In this case, United tells ABC News we inaccurately scanned the boarding pass of Ms. Yamauchi's son. As a result, her son's seat appeared to be not checked in, and we released his seat to another customer. We are also working with our employees to prevent this from happening again. United also apologized to Yamauchi and gave her a refund for her son's ticket. But as far as she's concerned, she says all she's hoping for is that United make sure this doesn't happen again. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. A passenger tried to enter the cockpit of a Delta flight Thursday night. Flight 129 had just departed Seattle, heading to Beijing. The suspect also allegedly assaulted a flight attendant in the first-class cabin. Several passengers quickly contained the suspect. That flight returned to Seattle under military escort. Once the plane was back on the ground, police took that suspect into custody. In Florida, the pilot on board a Cessna 152 has died after crashing in the Florida Everglades. The plane's owner reported the plane missing Saturday, but the plane wasn't found until Wednesday night when a search team found it. The identity of the pilot has not yet been released. The FAA and NTSB are investigating what caused this plane to crash. A well-known Orlando attorney is following through on threats to sue the state over the lawmaker's decision to ban smoking medical marijuana. John Morgan has repeatedly threatened to launch a legal challenge over the smoking issue, which he maintains was permitted in the amendment that was passed by more than 71% of Florida voters last fall. Even so, lawmakers have banned smoking the medical marijuana, but allowed patients to vape it or eat it in measures that were approved during a special session last month. Governor Rick Scott signed the bill and it went into effect last week. And when they were voting on it, the vast majority, if not 100%, knew that smoke was included. So the fact that we're here today is really unnecessary, but here we go. Lawmakers supporting the ban argue that smoking marijuana doesn't have any actual medical benefit. Morgan is now taking this cause to social media. You will see the hashtag, no smoke is a joke. Agricultural experts are looking for help to fight an invasive species in Florida. They're starting a citizen science project that trains Floridians to identify and report air potato vines. Those grow aggressively and can quickly overtake and kill other vegetation. It's found in 60 of the state's 67 counties. Researchers also want to know if people see air potato leaf beetles, which can eat the plants as well. That's interesting. I always like it when we get the citizen involvement with stuff like that. Yeah, citizen science is good yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Can you eat the air potato? I don't believe you can. No? It's not sweet. Really? Sour cream on it? 
Uh, yeah, a little bit. Maybe yeah. bacon bits or whatever. <laughs> Sounds better all the time. No? Because they're making me hungry. Yeah. I sound like a red beetle, don't I? We have... Uh, <laughs> What? Uh, no, it was part of the story. We have uh, across the region better rain chances over the course of the next couple of days. Talk about that in a second. Also still had an issue brewing in Sarasota over trees. We'll tell you how the city is trying to maintain its historic landscape while still leaving room for development. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. Hello, I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Ray Collins. Having a sweet tooth can be contagious. But if you're an expecting mom, you could be raising the risk of your child developing allergies or asthma. The potential link tomorrow on Good Morning Sun Coast. John? After today's dry weather, the rain chances go up tomorrow. We'll give you the numbers. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high performance parts and advice. So many possibilities worth exploring. Manasota Flooring. And for a limited time, Minnesota Flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents, but these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota Flooring today. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. <laughs> Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Going on now, for every two windows you buy, get one more free. Call today. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction, Hope, and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Across the region, temperatures are mild to start the day. We have 76 degrees, the air temperature with a dew point of 70. Wind's kind of light. We have, you know what, a big ridge of high pressure that's basically just parked right over us today. And that's going to lead to some very light and kind of variable winds. So if you're a boater today, be advised that uh, it'd be nice to have a motor on your boat today because there's not going to be a whole lot of strong winds around. They will come out of the west during the afternoon, though. That will be kind of consistent. But during the morning hours, they're going to be light. They're going to be variable. 74 degrees, Wachula. 74 degrees in Arcadia. 74 in Mayaka. Parrish and Bradenton both coming in pretty close to the same as well. 80 degrees, Longbow Key. A little warmer in Venice and Inglewood than in inland areas as well. 77 in Venice. 78 degrees. In Inglewood. So, we don't have much in the way of any kind of rain showers across the peninsula of the state this morning. They are ringing the state again today. And the, the direction of these radar echoes, if you're a keen observer, you might note that 
Yesterday, they were pretty much east to west. Today, they have a little bit more of a south to north kind of flow. An indication that the upper level winds shift just a little bit today and bring up a little bit more moisture from the south. While we don't have much in the way of any kind of radar echoes currently, I think for your drive home tonight, we will have a few more around than we saw yesterday. We didn't have many around yesterday, but boy, the cells that we did have were strong as sometimes can happen when high pressure is parked right over you. Around the mouth of Charlotte Harbor, we had one particularly large cell that moved basically due west with a little bit of a northerly motion as well. Uh, today, uh, across the entire peninsula, across the deep south, the conditions are perfect for flying, so I don't think you'll have much of a, much of a problem if you are catching an early flight today. For the Atlanta airport, say, or Raleigh, Durham, or Charlotte, should be just fine. Watch this humid air. Here on this map, this is moisture that's available to produce rainfall in the atmosphere. Here, redder is wetter, so any of the hotter colors indicate a more humid air environment. And you'll watch some of these yellows and oranges and even reds tend to lift a little bit further to the north with time right over the peninsula of Florida by probably Sunday so that our rain chances will be going up as we have more available moisture to produce rain shower chances. Right now, high pressure is basically sitting over us, just a little bit to our north. As we move through time, we'll watch the heat of the day produce that sea breeze once again, and a little bit more activity because of that moisture lifting northward. Forecast for us calls for a continuation of the rainfall chances right into the weekend, but increasing to about 50%, which is where we normally would find ourselves at this time of year, about 10 maybe 20% higher over the course of next work week than we are seeing today. So if you haven't had any rainfall in the last couple of days, why well, you're likely to get some as we head into next work week. Daytime high temperatures might come down a degree or two also because of the increase in rain showers. Back to you. All right, looks good. Thank you, John. And things looking good on the roadways this morning as well. A little bit of building volume here and there at the main intersections in Bradenton, but no major problems. I-75 smooth sailing even through that Manatee construction zone. Once you get into Sarasota, a little bit of a backup on Fruitville Road headed westbound. Things moving well through downtown. And I-75 looks good all the way through Sarasota County and down into South County as well. No accidents at 617. The city of Sarasota is trying to maintain the landscape while also leaving room for development. It's a delicate balance, and now they're turning to a small group of residents to determine how developers and homeowners will be allowed to remove and replace trees that really impact our city's character. Adam Cellini has more. I think that the trees need a voice. In the Sarasota office of Tammy Kovar's company, Biological Tree Services, you'll find two binders, one for Sarasota tree ordinances and one for every other city and county. The city of Sarasota is pretty well known for its extensive library of code. But that library still has no answer that appeases residents who feel the code is too light on tree removal and builders who often feel the code is too strict. Every tree is different and every location of every tree is different and there are a lot of factors to consider when you're looking at a piece of a property where you have different trees throughout the property. That's why the city is putting together a team of locals to revamp those rules. Currently, they require contractors maintain tree numbers by either replacing them to a similar size or moving trees from one property to another. It's not something you can just go in and chop down and expect it to pop right back up. Alice Sundstrom lives in Laurel Park, where a historic home was demolished last year because moving it meant removing three trees along the road. She appreciates the character that mature trees can provide but understands they can sometimes be a problem. There needs to be some flexibility built into this new code or ordinance that they're going to be having while still making sure that they maintain the canopy and the beauty of the neighborhood. This new board will be made up of neighborhood leaders like Sundstrom, two developers, a resident, a business owner, and an arborist that can hopefully make everyone's life a little easier. We don't want to have to fight every time a tree is taken down. Now later this month, commissioners will decide whether to adopt a final resolution to create this board, at which point residents will be allowed to start applying for those seven available positions. The commissioners will have the ultimate say of who ends up on that board, and they're hoping to make that final decision by August. In Sarasota, Adam Cellini, ABC7, your Suncoast News.
All right, 620 still had a good morning sun coast. A youth soccer game played in silence, could you imagine? Uh, you know what, it might be good to make those parents quiet, and that's what one league is trying to do. We'll talk about it. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. Have you ever wondered what it's like to save a life? Find out by donating platelets at Suncoast Blood Bank. I'm Haley Wilgus, ABC7. Platelets aid in the clotting process and are vital in the treatment of cancer and surgical patients, trauma victims, and critically ill newborns. It's tough to keep enough on the shelves because they only last five days. To donate, call this number or visit scbb.org and you can help save a life. ABC7 congratulates Suncoast Blood Bank on 65 years of serving our community. ABC7, My Suncoast News. We're here for you. Watch My Suncoast News wherever you are. On our live stream, on our newly redesigned MySuncoast.com, and a brand new ABC7 My Suncoast app. Powered by the I Associates, providing sight for life. Featuring traffic maps and live radar, and dining with recipes and all the hottest Suncoast restaurants. Visit MySuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab to download the ABC7 My Suncoast app for iOS and Android. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Oh, pretty shot of postcard, Stephanie, of Sarasota looking toward Sarasota Bay. Yes, a nice start to the morning. We will see plenty of sunshine, heat, and humidity once again today, but John says a few degrees cooler come the weekend. Yes. We'll take it. Nice day for boating, he says, today as well. Mm, sounds great. Yeah. It is 623, and there's a new effort to cut down on heckling and bad behavior at youth soccer games in South Carolina. ABC's TJ Holmes has details before the effort takes effect in a few weeks. In this morning's GMA First Look, a youth soccer league is telling parents to stay quiet at their kids' games. We just felt as a, as a board that it was time in a leadership way to, to do something to get people's attention. This memo dubbed Silent September, sent to the parents of the 30,000 youth players in the league, explains that come soccer season this fall, all parents and visitors shall be silent during the game, adding, just enjoy your player and the game that they love. When parents, you know, yell at the referees like that, it makes the kids uncomfortable. For the parents watching from the stands, the reaction to this was mixed. I think it's a great idea. Um, I think it's gonna benefit the children as well as the referees. I was a little surprised because I'm one of those that enjoys uh, at times coaching from the sidelines. We'll have more on this silence on the sidelines coming up at 7 a.m. with your GMA First Look. I'm T.J. Holmes, ABC News in New York. Needles. Essential for him, but maybe not for people with rheumatoid arthritis because there are options like an unjection, Zelljans XR, a once daily pill for adults with moderate to severe RA for whom methotrexate did not work well. 
Zelljan's XR can reduce pain, swelling, and joint damage, even without methotrexate. Zelljan's XR can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections, lymphoma, and other cancers have happened. Don't start Zelljan's XR if you have an infection. Tears in the stomach or intestines, low blood cell counts, and higher liver tests and cholesterol levels have happened. Your doctor should perform blood tests before you start and while taking Zelljan's XR and monitor certain liver tests. Tell your doctor if you are in a region where fungal infections are common and if you have had TB, hepatitis B or C or are prone to infections. Needles, fine for some, but for you, one pill a day may provide symptom relief. Ask your doctor about Zelljan's XR, an injection. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. You studied hard, went to college, and achieved your dream, but it turned into a financial nightmare. If you have federal student loans and you'd like to reduce your payments, get more time, or have your loans completely eliminated, then we have good news. With one call to Student Loan Relief Services, you can find support and guidance. We've already helped thousands of people, and we can help you too. If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans, you can qualify for payment extensions, payment reductions, or you may qualify to have your federal student loan completely forgiven. Call Student Loan Relief Services now to find out about your options. Take control of your finances and get out from under this burden. One of our student loan experts has the answers to your questions and great solutions to ease your financial burden. We're here for you. Call Student Loan Relief Services now. Call 800-759-0203, 800-759-0203. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. I took my first handful of pills, and that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. The official Suncoast Hurricane Guide from ABC7. Download yours today. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, a Bradenton man admits to police he shot his stepsons. We'll have the latest on the investigation. Plus, Sarasota County's largest city now has a new city manager. We'll have results of the vote from Northport. And here's a switch, a summer camp for adults. Sign me up. Your okay. Sun Coast News starts right now. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. It is 629 on a gorgeous Friday morning, oh. starting to see the first peaks of the sun there coming through. And we will see a lot of sun and also plenty more heat and humidity, of course, again today. That tower cam is like a kaleidoscope out there. Who yeah, knows what, what we'll get? Great time of day, though, to yeah. get to see all the colors. That's Certainly for sure. Is. Welcome back as we start our 630 half hour. I'm Stephanie Roberts. And I'm Ray Collins. Jacqueline's off today. John Scalzi has details of a nice uh, weekend forecast, John. 
Yeah, I think so. I'm looking forward to it. I know that's true. <laughs> no we matter have, what the weather is. No matter what the weather is. Exactly. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Uh, I, th I think we'll have a few more showers around, which is not a bad thing. Uh, you know, we could still use the rainfall, and certainly things dry out very quickly in this heat. Uh, we have a few scattered showers out in Gulf Waters right now on radar, and those really are not going to bother us. Your morning commute will be rain-free. Lots of sunshine, as you just saw on Tower Cam, to start off the day, and that'll help boost our temperatures pretty rapidly. Again, today, we'll find ourselves with feels like temperatures close to the century mark. Daytime high temperatures will be in the low 90s. Look for a slightly better chance of rainfall today with about 40% or so, especially late in the day and into the evening hours. But then as we head into the weekend, I think our rain chances even increase a little bit higher than that. Complete forecast coming up for you in just a few. Back to you guys. All right, it's a date. Talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Big build up there in 301 southbound as you head from... Uh, Manatee County towards Sarasota County. Speaking of which, we'll check the map there now and see a few buildups there. Fruitville Road heading westbound around the Beneva and Tuttle. Also uh, 301 uh, northbound. Actually, that's 41 northbound toward uh, Mound. And then just uh, south of 681, there's a buildup on 41 north. Otherwise, all clear at 631 on your Friday morning. Topping our news, a shooting in Bradenton. Sends a 12-year-old and a 19-year-old to the hospital. Police say this all started after a family argument escalated. And Rick Adams has details. Well, the shooting happened inside the home right back there. Police say it stemmed from an argument between a stepfather and a stepson. Gunfire erupted Thursday morning inside this home in the 1900 block of 6th Avenue East in Bradenton, sending a teen and his brother to the hospital. Police say 19-year-old Rufus Adams suffered a gunshot wound to the head and upper body. He was in critical condition, and his 12-year-old brother was shot in the lower body. We're being told his condition is stable. Them kids used to play and stuff. I go by there and see them. They never had a problem like this here. So I just feel for the community. Police tell us Adams and his stepfather, 36 year old Joshua Rapola, got into an argument and then Adams grabbed a gun, followed by Rapola grabbing another gun. Rapola fired the gun, striking the 19 year old at least two times. And police say it appears the bullet that struck his 12 year old brother was accidental. They're getting ridiculous. You know, everywhere with all this shooting. It's not yet known if any charges have been filed. In the meantime, this is a shooting that has left the East Bradenton neighborhood in shock. Well, I've been here right at four years. I never thought nothing happened like this here. You know, I sit out on my porch late at night and stuff, and early in the morning. And authorities are continuing with their investigation. If you know anything more about this shooting, you're being asked to contact Bradenton Police immediately. Reporting from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. A 69-year-old Sarasota man is behind bars after sheriff's deputies say he was trafficking cocaine. Joseph Balcom was arrested Monday after he was pulled over for a seatbelt violation. During the traffic stop, deputies say they found a locked safe with envelopes of cocaine inside. Marijuana and cash were also found. Balcom is facing charges of trafficking cocaine and possession. Memorial services are set today for the four young men killed in a car crash in Englewood last weekend. Troopers say the four men from Port Charlotte were killed when the car they were riding in ran a stop sign and smashed into an SUV. That car caught fire. All four men were killed, and the family in the SUV suffered minor injuries. A memorial for 23-year-old Dustin Strong will take place today at 4 o'clock at Lemon Bay High School. A similar service will be held at 3 p.m. on Saturday at Lemon Bay High School for 21-year-old Austin Hershey. Services are still being set for Keith Williams and Billy Solomon. The smell of natural gas caused a construction site evacuation in the Rosemary District yesterday. Sarasota County fire officials say a two-inch natural gas line breached during an excavation at a construction site near Orange and Boulevard of the Arts. Happened about 3 p.m. yesterday. About a dozen workers were evacuated while the line was capped. Fire officials say it should be fixed at this point. After being accused of violating federal and state law, the Bradenton Housing Authority is dropping its no weapons policy for residents. According to Executive Director Ellis Mitchell, the Housing Authority has been working to change the language in residents' leases. Mitchell says the process was started before the tragic shooting on June 22nd when a Bradenton child accidentally shot and killed his brother. The new leases will allow residents the right to bear arms. However, it will also revise the vetting process for residents. The changes still need to be approved by the Housing Authority's attorney and commissioners before it goes into effect. 
And more than a dozen homes in Punta Gorda are in need of repair this morning due to wind damage. The Charlotte County Fire Department responded around 6.30 to River Haven Mobile Home Park. That's located on Burt Store Road in Punta Gorda for reports of a tornado. When responders arrived at the scene, they found that 13 homes had sustained some degree of wind damage. Luckily, no one was injured. Charlotte County Emergency Management was notified and they're consulting with the National Weather Service. They do not believe it was a tornado, but likely straight line winds. It's now official. Peter Lear is the new city manager of the city of Northport. He was serving in an interim capacity since the former manager, Jonathan Lewis, left for a job with Sarasota County Government. Lear has worked for the city for nearly a decade, most recently as the director of finance. He now leads more than 500 employees on a budget of $110 million. He is an Army vet and familiar with the area he grew up in Venice. A scam alert this morning happening on the Sun Coast in the car market. Several car owners who bought a newer used car nearly a year ago are receiving notices in the mail with words like urgent notice or final notice. Experts say these are third parties trying to trick you into buying an extended warranty. So they buy the registration info from the Department of Motor Vehicles and they know when to target car buying anniversary dates. Now the warranty would be real, but it would involve inferior parts. When the service advisor calls for prior authorization, they will try to encourage them to use either a used part, an LKQ, which is something from a salvage yard, uh, something from Napa or one of these uh, auto parts stores such as AutoZone, and not necessarily OEM equipment. So if you choose to actually use original equipment made for your vehicle, you could have to pay the difference. Godfrey says it is best to contact the place where you bought your car directly to check on the status of any of your warranties. By the way, on average, nearly 7 in 10 buyers will purchase extended warranties when they get their cars. A follow-up now on a popular restaurant in Siesta Village that was severely damaged this week when a truck plowed through the front window. The lobster pot is now back open. The owners called an emergency crew after the July 4th crash to do some quick repairs. This after a man plowed in the front of the building. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. The owners say there's still limited seating, but the menu is not limited. It was kind of surprising when it happened. Uh, we're more surprised that nobody got hurt, uh, being that it was 4th of July day in a busy uh, beach area. Uh, so I'm just happy nobody got, nobody got hurt. Now, the driver was in stable condition. Investigators believe he had some kind of medical issue prior to the crash. Sarasota County may soon be footing the bill for millions of dollars in medical expenses after the state Supreme Court ruled in favor of private hospitals. Doctors Hospital of Sarasota, Englewood Community Hospital, and Venice Regional Bayfront Health say that they should be reimbursed for $300 million worth of care given to indigent patients. That was in accordance with the 2003 law. The county argues that law is unconstitutional because it grants privilege exclusively to private hospitals. They say they're at a disadvantage in relation to Sarasota Memorial Hospital, which has a property taxing authority as a public entity. So in response to the decision, SMH said in a statement, if the for-profit hospitals choose to proceed to collect these funds from the county, we will defend the lawsuit, as we've done in the past when for-profit hospitals have launched high-profile efforts to dip into public funds to subsidize profit margins. That case now will be left up to a trial court. It is 6.38. A Sarasota gymnastics coach is being honored as this year's U.S. Olympic Committee National Coach of the Year. Way to go. Here she is, Amy Borman with the EVO Athletics women's team, also one of two coaches receiving this prestigious award. She used to coach superstar gold medalist Simone Biles. The USA Gymnastics Program nominated Borman for the honor. It is then on to an Olympic panel. How does she feel? Passion is something that just comes from within, and it, that's what drives you to show up on the days that you don't really feel like doing it. I love watching kids grow. I love watching kids learn and just building that relationship with them through the years, especially in an Olympic year when there's so many sports being showcased at one time because everybody's watching the Olympics, to just be recognized for what I do to help athletes in the sport. Here's a twist. She is the first gymnastics coach to ever win this Olympic award. Wow, and great to have her right here on the Sun Coast. So summer camp is great for kids, but why should kids get all the fun? For the first time, Sarasota County is launching a summer camp for adults. It is called Camp All Grown Up and it is designed specifically with adults in mind. So if you've ever wanted to learn a new hobby or activity or sport, this is the chance. The new camp gives you the chance to try kayaking, play pickleball, 
pair wines with dinner, catch a shark from Venice Pier, and all sorts of interesting things we can do right here on the Sun Coast. The camps are for adults 50 years and older, and they run through August. For more information, you want to contact County Parks and Rec to sign up. A wine pairing, that is some camp. <laughs> with sea turtles and nesting season well underway, Moat Marine Lab says the season has been booming so far. Experts say the nesting activity could even set a record so far. 3,193 nests have been found on Venice, Casey Key, Siesta Key, Lido, and Longboat Key. Sea turtle nesting season runs till October 31st, which is when Moat will know for sure we had another record-breaking season. And don't forget to get some good pictures out there this weekend. Send them our way. We've got a Facebook page at uh, mysuncoast.com.abc7. Love to see your pictures and share them with you, with us on the show on Monday. And a big thanks to Boat. You know, they do such a good job protecting those sea turtle nests that it really, uh, really makes it a better environment for everybody. And you know, they're volunteers. Our visitors know. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, I was out at the beach this weekend and it was very clear with the pink tape, you've right. got to leave it alone so that the tourists are leaving them alone since yeah. now they're aware and we get more babies. Yeah. So, good to them. It'd be fun to watch them all kind of... <laughs> Go back out to the water at a distance. Yeah, I was gonna say I've never, I've never seen it. I never have either, but I think it would be awesome. I think it's the yeah. middle of the night occurrence, so we may have to. Uh, well, that. works for our schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. On, on, on your way in. <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> we have some uh, nice weather shaping up for the weekend. Talk about that in a sec. Also, still ahead, a new warning for pregnant women. We'll tell you how much sugar in your diet could make your child more likely to have asthma issues. That's in Health Smart. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at some very pleasant weather today, certainly to start the day off. It's going to be relatively rain free across the entire Florida Peninsula. So lots of sunshine in store for you this morning. 70 degree dew point air temperature at 76. Those temperatures will rise pretty quickly in response to the heating. Plus 
Our winds are going to be kind of light today, light and somewhat variable, so the heating of the ground will be able to take place, and because there won't be a lot of wind, we'll be able to watch that ground heat the air just above it, and consequently our temperatures rise pretty quickly. 73 degrees in Wachula, Arcadia at 73, 73, Mayaka, Parish, Bradenton, both at 74, Lakewood Ranch at 75, so is Northport, Punta Gorda coming in at 74, 77 in Inglewood, 76 in Venice, and you folks at Longbow Key coming in already at 79 degrees. Not a lot of rainfall, as I mentioned, across the state. You know, we had some drier air kind of filter in yesterday, and that limited the number of showers that we got. Now, a few that did manage to blossom into thunderstorms were big thunderstorms. And as you heard earlier in this broadcast, produced some wind damage um, down around uh, the mouth of Charlotte Harbor. In fact, uh, got a picture of that storm cloud and its little funnel that it was produced on my Facebook page, John Scalzi ABC7. Go there, check it out. You can see that little funnel very well defined from that thunderstorm that did develop. Now, over the course of the next several days, I think we'll see more thunderstorm activity than we saw yesterday because we're going to get a little bit more moisture lifting northward. That moisture will come up from the south, and it will help to support better rainfall chances, particularly, I think, on the second half of the weekend when we're going to return to pretty typical afternoon shower chances, about 50%, maybe even higher, 60% perhaps. And, of course, we'll watch the tropics as there may be a slug of moisture headed our way midweek next week. Too early to say that yet, though. High pressure, the dominant weather feature across our region, bringing us light winds. Waters today are going to be like glass, really smooth to start off the day. And then as we head into the afternoon, the sea breeze will build. We'll get those showers and thunderstorms building inland. And then very slow moving storms could produce some fairly heavy rainfall as they slowly drift back toward the east or toward the west as the sea breeze dis, uh, dissolves later in the day. Slowly increasing moisture. Uh, TD4 is likely to just fade away and better rain chances are on the way. The RPM computer model shows those showers building in inland areas, slow movers producing a fair amount of rainfall. And then as we head into the weekend, probably a little bit better coverage, few more showers around. So far out in the Atlantic, there's TD number four. Watch it as it basically just starts to fade away. Upper level winds and some very hostile dry air around it are really going to cause it to just, I think, in the next 24 hours or so, fade from sight. Uh, but its moisture will still linger, and perhaps we'll see some of that head toward uh, the United States as we head into midweek next week. Five knot winds. That's it today, boaters. Really light stuff. Look for two foot or less seas and smooth conditions and increasing rain chances by weekend. Back to you. All right, thank you, John. Looking at the roadways, pretty quiet start for Friday morning, although we are starting to see some volume. Uh, 301 at northbound heading into downtown Bradenton is showing a bit of traffic, as is both directions of 64 there coming uh, on and off I-75. I-75 looks good through Manatee County and down into Sarasota County. Starting to see some volume heading eastbound on B Ridge as folks uh, head closer to I-75. And in South County, things are nice and quiet. No accidents and delays to report. It's 648. In this hour's Health Smart, experiences during infancy can have lasting effects on the level of inflammation in our bodies decades later. Yeah, Northwestern researchers found that nutritional and social exposures early on predict gene expression years later. Some things that have an effect on that includes duration of breastfeeding, exposure to certain microbes, and also socioeconomic situations, including parental interaction. The study author says this proves our health destinies are not fixed based on DNA at birth. Can blame our parents for our sore knees. Yes. Women who have a lot of sugar during pregnancy may be increasing their child's risk of allergies and asthma. Researchers from Queen Mary University in London used data gathered from nearly 9,000 mother-child pairings. And the children of women with the highest sugar intake during pregnancy had a 38% higher risk of allergy diagnoses in their babies. The risk of developing allergic asthma was double that of kids born to women who consumed the least sugar. Researchers say more research is needed to understand if it's just a causal link, but that reducing added sugar intake is always a healthy choice. Entertainment news live from New York, a budding relationship. Scarlett Johansson may have found someone special to spend the summer with. The actress is apparently dating Saturday Night Live's Colin Jost. Over the long 4th of July holiday weekend, the pair was photographed getting dinner together in East Hampton. Jost celebrated his birthday just one day earlier. Would not have guessed that one. 
Comedian actor Patton Oswalt has found love again and is now engaged to actress Meredith Salinger. Oswalt and Salinger made their first public appearance together last month at the premiere of Baby Driver. Oswalt's wife, Michelle McNamara, died unexpectedly in her sleep last year. Kesha is releasing her first single in four years, but will it be a big enough hit to give her a comeback? The pop star is also announcing an upcoming album. This is her first album since a high-profile legal battle with Dr. Luke over a lawsuit of, that accused that music producer of sexual assault and harassment. The album Rainbow is due out on August 11th, and it features appearances by Dolly Parton, Eagles of Death Metal, and the Dap Kings. Nice. Did you see Kesha approach Jerry Seinfeld for a hug on the red yes. carpet? Yes, yeah, and he stiffed her. He said, no. Well, he's not a toucher. Not no. everybody's a toucher. We had a big conversation on The View about that. That's right. Are you a toucher? I love watching your show, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I'm your new biggest fan. Be careful. I'll have new ammo for you after uh, sitting with you. <laughs> that's right. We'll update the day's top news headlines next. Plus, an unusual social media post is going viral after a 4th of July arrest of ducks. We'll show you why the feathered suspects were stopped. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi. I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. I'm Cindy Lou. I'm Susie. I'm Missy. And I'm Betty Jean. And we're the Marvelous Wonderettes. Mr. Sandman. Experience the best girl group songs from the 50s and 60s live on stage at the Players Center July 12th through the 23rd. Call 941-365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You'll fall in love with the marvelous Wonderettes. I'm so alone. My name is Stephen Jaffe. Uh, the law firm's name is Farmer Jaffe. One of the beautiful things about Julius is he's always smiling and it becomes infectious. The fact that Julius has a disability has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of work that he's done. Just a, a great person you want on your staff. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Jacqueline and John, the new Good Morning Suncoast team. Weekdays starting at 5 a.m. on ABC7. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Oh, yeah. A sunrise, beautiful on the sun coast. Very nice. Another hot day on the way, but John says it'll be a few degrees cooler for the weekend. I'm in the mood for fried eggs now. <laughs> That's exactly what that looks sunny, like. Sunny side up.
Here's some of the top stories we're following for you here on the Sun Coast. A 36-year-old Bradenton man admitted to police that he shot his 19 and 12-year-old stepsons in their house on 6th Avenue East. The victims are in critical and stable condition, respectively. Northport commissioners voted unanimously to name Peter Lears its next city manager. He was the city finance director. The Venice native replaces Jonathan Lewis, who left for a job with Sarasota County. He will be in charge of 530 employees in a city with a $110 million budget. And the Bradenton Housing Authority is looking to change the rules to allow, that is, allow weapons among residents. The idea still needs city approval. Taking a look at the roadways, no major problems. The 301 is definitely slowing down in both directions there at State Road 70. So 41 may be a better choice, at least right now. I-75 looks great through Manatee and Sarasota counties, and it is still sleepy and quiet in Sarasota this morning. In fact, things look quiet all the way into South County. Quiet in the weather department as well. Not a whole lot of activity anticipated this morning. Should be a quiet weather commute. Daytime high today tops out again warm with feels like temperatures near the century mark. Ouch, it's staying the air conditioning, right? Over the weekend, though, we may get a little bit of relief as we get a few more showers around. Finally, a police officer in Pennsylvania had some fun this week on the 4th of July. He arrested and booked for ducks. Yeah. The charge, loitering outside a gas station. <laughs> slow, slow day there. I guess. Officers posted the pictures of the feathered suspects on Facebook. It quickly went viral. The ducks were later returned to their owner nearly a mile from the gas station. They're now back having fun. If they were arrested and had bond out, who would pick up the bill? Oh, oh, you did not do that's a foul joke. Wow. Oh, that's right a, there. Oh it is goodness. a foul joke. He's a brave man putting those in his patrol car. <laughs> that's true. No, They're not I'm kidding. I wonder if he has to clean the patrol <laughs> yeah, car. I think there's some work to be done after <laughs> oh, that. Oh, I bet there are. Yeah, yeah, where, where, the, where the handcuffs go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay cool and enjoy the sunshine. GMA is next. We'll see you on Monday.